Ahoy hoy, I'm Planet Walk, and one of the things that a lot of Flat Earthers say is that you can't use Newtonian gravity because Newtonian gravity says that gravity is a force, whereas Einstein came along and snapped the wand in two. Now the reason why I think Flat Earthers do this is because they want to talk about Einsteinian gravity. Because to them, there's less evidence for Einsteinian gravity, and they think that the evidence for Newtonian gravity can't be used for Einsteinian gravity. And they seem to think that if they can discredit Einsteinian gravity, because Einsteinian gravity came along and replaced Newtonian gravity, that that discredits all gravity. Although that's not how any of this works. So first off, there is evidence for Newtonian gravity. If you do not address the evidence for Newtonian gravity, you cannot outright dismiss gravity. Now a flat earther might try and say, but Newtonian gravity is old and outdated. We should all be looking at Einsteinian gravity. To which I say, do you know anything about Einsteinian gravity apart from it being the curvature of space-time? That's what I thought. Now I highly doubt that any flat earther out there would be able to explain Einstein's field equations. So if you can't even explain the basis of what you're trying to debunk, how do you expect to be able to debunk it? Now one of the more common complaints that I get from flat earthers when I'm referring to gravity is sometimes I'll refer to gravity as a force. Now I am aware that gravity isn't actually a force, but you can refer to gravity as a force. In fact, in the past I have made videos where I have gone ahead and treated something that isn't actually a force as a force. And no one complains about that. Wow, it's almost as if flat earthers don't actually understand why gravity isn't actually a force and have just read somewhere that gravity isn't actually a force. So when they see someone using gravity as a force, they use this whole uh, gravity isn't actually a force thing as a red herring to detract from the actual issue without actually explaining why gravity isn't actually a force. So flat earthers, do you actually care to explain why gravity isn't actually a force rather than just asserting it because you've read it somewhere? Now I have a small feeling, just a small feeling, that flat earthers won't actually understand why gravity isn't actually a force. And I've decided I'm going to help them out by giving them a little bit of a hint. So there's some principles to gravity. One of these principles is absence of a gravitational field is indistinguishable from free fall in a gravitational field. Now what this means is that if gravity didn't exist, then everyone would just simply be weightless. Now weightlessness can be achieved by another means, free fall. And what this principle states is that Free fall is no different to just not having gravity. I wonder if flat earthers would be able to wrap their heads around that one. Now until flat earthers can explain why gravity isn't actually a force, and trust me this is a lot easier to explain than Einstein's field equation, so this is at least somewhat in the realm of possibility for flat earthers, maybe. But until then I will still treat gravity as if it were a force. Now some people may say, if gravity isn't a force, then don't treat gravity as a force, goddammit. However, you can treat things that aren't actually forces as forces. Usually these are called fictitious forces. So a good example of this is if you're in a car going along at a constant speed, and then all of a sudden the person driving the car pushes on the brakes and you fly forward. Or do you? So the answer of whether you fly forward or not really depends on the frame of reference you're using. If you're using the car's frame of reference, then yes, you fly forward. But if you're using the frame of reference of the ground, then no, you don't. In fact, if anything's exerting a force in this scenario, it's your seatbelt, and if you're not wearing a seatbelt, then it's the windshield as you go flying through it. So the question then becomes, is there a force that's acting on the person for them to continue going in the direction that they were going in? And the answer is it depends on what reference frame you're looking at. If you're looking at the reference frame of the car, then yes, there is a force being applied to this person. However, that force is a fictitious force because when you look at another reference frame, that person isn't experiencing a force. Now there are good reasons for treating it as if the person is experiencing a force forward rather than the car experiencing a force backwards. For example, you might want to check the sturdiness of a seatbelt or something, right? Assuming that the person is wearing a seatbelt, of course. 
And the person experiencing a force forward is a lot simpler than a car experiencing a force backwards. Now there is one force that flat earthers might want to look into, which isn't actually a force, but it's a fictitious force. And that is centrifugal force. Might want to look into that. And just so everyone's aware, I've never heard a globe earther argue that water should never fly off a ball because centrifugal force is a fictitious force. I've never heard that being argued. So to all the flat earthers watching, please tell me, why is gravity not a force? And if you manage to answer that, please tell me why I can't treat it as if it is a force. Because until you tell me why I can't, I will be treating it as if it is a force. And to all the flat earthers that want to divert from Newton to Einstein when talking about gravity, I hope you know his field equations. But anyway, leave a like and subscribe if you like this video and ring the bell to keep updated. And also, leave a comment letting me know how smart you are. As always, a big shout out to my $20 or more patrons. What Jesus, Holmes, Hugh Jars, MC Nutkin, Wolfie, Stringer News One, Ash Panash, Curtis Reynolds, Curvy New Yorker, Sisyphus, and Mori. If you want to support me financially, you can do so on Patreon. Link will be in the description. But anyway, I will see you in the next video. Between you and me. Wait. Why am I asking flat earthers for Einstein's field equations? I don't think that they can even give me the equations for Newton's law of universal gravitation. Huh.